and I am Dr. Shri Vanala. Today's topic is Impression Materials and its Ideal Requirements. Impression An impression can be defined as an exact negative replica of the teeth and its associated oral tissues with accurate reproduction of all finer details maintaining correct spatial dimensions. Cast Cast is an exact positive hard replica of dentulous or edentulous arcs of oral tissues used in fabricating procedures of oral appliances. Model or study casts. Model or study casts are exact positive hard duplicates of dentulous or edentulous arcs used for diagnostic purposes in orthodontia and prosthodontia. Dye. Dye is also an exact positive hard duplicate of single or sometimes few teeth used for inlay and onlay, crown and bridges preparation. Now let's learn about impression materials. Impression materials are used to register and reproduce the form and relationship of teeth and oral tissues. Impressions may be recorded of a portion of tooth, a single tooth, several teeth, entire dentulous or edentulous arcs or even perioral and extraoral structures. The procedure. The impression materials are generally carried to the patient's mouth by an impression tray. The tray support the impression materials and not allow it to flow down since most of the materials are in semi-solid conditions during impression recording. After the material sets in patient's mouth, the impression is pulled out with the help of the tray. This gives the negative replica of the patient's mouth which is poured with a gypsum material to get a positive replica on which the oral appliances are fabricated. Therefore, impression stage is the first stage and a very important stage involving the fabrication of dental appliances. Now let's learn the ideal requirements. First, biocompatibility and chemical properties. It should be non-poisonous, non-irritant, non-allergic to oral tissues. For example, zinc, zinc oxide eugenol is allergic and irritant for few patients. Next, it should have acceptable taste and odor. Next, it should be chemically inert in oral condition. Next, it should not absorb or dissolve in oral fluids which may cause dimensional changes. Next, it should be hydrophilic to avoid in incomplete wetting or collection of air bubbles voids during taking impression or pouring casts. Next, it should be compatible with dye or cast materials. Next, rheological or fluid, fluid flow properties. It should have low viscosity or good flow property while inserting to get accurate reproduction of finer details. Next, its viscosity should increase quickly while setting to avoid distortion due to inadvertent shaking by patient or during removal. Next, it should have pseudoplastic nature which helps to increase flow by stressing to get better details for example monoface additional polysilicones next it should have suitable mixing and working times by rate of chemical reactors but short setting time that is command set properties next mechanical properties it should have good ability to reproduce the finer details within tolerance of plus or minus 20 microns. Next, it should have high elasticity and complete elastic recovery so that it can be withdrawn through severe undercuts without dimensional changes. Next, it should have adequate compressive strength to avoid dimensional changes while pouring the cast or dye materials. Next, it should have high tear strength to withstand tearing or shear stresses during withdrawal of impression. 
Next, it should have high flexibility or strain in compression which is needed to permit with withdrawal through severe undercuts. Next, thermal properties. Thermoplastic materials should have low softening temperatures that is 45 degree centigrade to 55 degree centigrade and are set or hardened at 37 degree centigrade. Next, it should have very low or zero coefficient of thermal expansion to minimize contraction while taking out of, out of the mouth. But most of the impression materials have very high coefficient of thermal expansion. Due to this, large contraction takes place with distortion if thickness is not uniform. Next, it should have high thermal conductivity to soften or harden or set the impression simultaneously to avoid internal stress causing distortion by stress relaxations. Next, aesthetic. It should have good color contrast which is required to identify the margins. It should have fairly good color stability. Next, other minor requirements are like it should have good dimensional stability during setting and also in between the interval of cast pouring. Hydrocolloids undergo dimensional changes by synergesis and imbibition quickly. Hence, cast pouring should be done immediately. Adhesion to tray or retention should be good to reduce distortion during removal and before pouring the cast. Next, it should have long shelf life and should be easily available and should be inexpensive. Next, it should be able to sterilize and reuse. Next, it should be able to be used repeatedly to obtain many copies of dyes without dimensional changes. Thank you everyone. Hope you all like the video. Please like, share and subscribe.